Well, we come down to Blau Mansions here, slightly whispering because we're on a live film set and uh, you can get told off that all, all the wrong times otherwise you're doing the wrong things. But with me, of course, I've got the executive producer, Steve Christian. Um, this looks like a really big production. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, the movies back in town. It's uh, what I would describe as a proper movie. Um, you know, decent budget, um, great cast, um, period drama, true story, um, great subject. Yeah, um, it's lovely to see them back. You've got a smile on your face. What's going on? I always smile. Oh, I know. But you've, I mean, it has been a tough time, but I mean, this is what it's about, isn't it? The spend on the economy is what on this? It's going to be well over a million uh, by the time we get there. And, you know, that's just the start of it, though, because then, you know, after that, you know, the exposure from the, you know, the film gets us. Um, you know, it just it, it ripples through, it trickles through. It's, you know, the it's just very hard to say what the, the economic benefit is, but the spend is going to be well over a million. Um, and you know what, it's a spend which is happening middle of October, mm. you know, things are getting a little bit quieter, uh, so it makes it all the more valuable. Now, are you going to be based in the future, or what happens to you with the, this big Pinewood link up? Uh, I stay here, uh, despite what you might read in the popular press. Um, you should never read that. <laughs> um, well, no comment. Um, no, I'm going to, I stay here, but you know, it's, it's, it's a bit more travelling, um, so, but no, the, the, I'm here, um, my team's here. And it's business as usual. Uh, we're carrying on. Uh, there's a different name. There's more, you know, obviously more opportunities. And this is a great example of those opportunities. And, you know, uh, Dom Hemingway coming in next month is another example. Um, you know, the movies are starting to roll again. And, you know, it's no coincidence. Well, I was going to use the word coincidence myself in a second about that we're here on uh, Blau Mansions, Mr. Whitaker's property, Peel Holdings. Pinewood, is, is that just completely random or was it all part of this package? It's all completely random. I mean, we've, films have shot here before. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, it's a fantastic location. Um, John has always been very welcoming in terms of film crew. Um, a lot of people are not so welcoming because, of course, you know, they like to look after the property and they don't want film crews marauding through. Now, it's probably something like, I don't know, there's probably about 60 vehicles here today. Um, sometimes there's three or 400 people. So it's difficult to persuade people sometimes, but John's always been very welcoming. Okay, this film, um, bankable, you obviously assume. Um, is it going to be one that will be seen around the world or will it end, uh, you know, what, what, what do, you, do you know about it? I mean, obviously you, you hope for the best. It's a theatrical feature film, so, you know, basically we, we hope that it will be screened in cinemas around the world, mm -hmm. um, have a long life, um, have a, you know, an Isle of Man credit at the front, mm -hmm. um, and we'll roll on to the next one, which is, again is another big theatrical film. So that's where we're starting to concentrate, you know, trying to get the, the higher quality. We're in a place at the moment where our product now that we can combine with Pinewood, our product is very different, it's very much more attractive, bringing films to the Isle of Man is a lot easier, uh, it looks, or at least it looks like it's a lot easier, um, and it's just nice to keep that exchequer, the exchequer benefit rolling in. And is this sort of tapping into the sort of Downton Abbey market? Is that the sort of period drama we're talking about here? Yeah, this is, uh, I describe Belle as Downton with a, you know, with a mixed race girl in the lead, mm. uh, which is kind of unusual. Uh, but it's a true story. Um, it's a very, very sweet story, uh, and a story that's probably going to resonate, um, particularly, I would, I would suggest, in America. So um, we've geared our investment towards that, and we shall see. Thank you.